welcome to Boats, Booze, and How To's. It's Mr. Jeff. It's been a couple of months since we shot a video, so Jamie and I are out here polishing the boat. It's spring. Going to get it in the water here in a week or two. Um, so I want to show you how to polish a boat. I don't know if I would have another dark, like black or dark blue boat again. Um, they're hard to keep looking good, but let me show you a couple of tricks to do it. Got a little a couple of tools that you need. You're going to need uh, this is a warping polisher. Uh, I got this on an Amazon. I'll provide the link. It's some um, Chinese knockoff orbiting tool, um, like random orbital, which is important. And this one goes from 2000 to 5200 RPMs. So normally when I polish this side, I probably put it on about half of that. Okay, so on this particular one, it goes from like one to six, and I'll put it on about, you know, three or four while I'm doing that. So that's about half the RPM. So it's probably around. 4,000, 3,000 RPMs. All right, so first thing you want to do is get yourself a pad. This is a medium uh, hardness pad. They're all different colors. And all you want to do is just center it on the desk like that. It's a Velcro back, okay? And then you need to take your buffing compound. Now this, there's a lot of different types out there. This is called Presta. I use this because I actually won this in a uh, walleye tournament, and a neighbor actually uh, owns this company. So I really like this a lot. It's really good. Everybody's got their own kind. I've used them all over the last 20 years. McGuire's has a good rubbing compound. You can buy a complete kit of different types of uh, restoration. 3M. Oxidized uh, surfaces. This this one's not too bad on this side of the boat, so I don't feel like I need that. Medium grit. And then there's also people swear by it. I think it's pretty good too. Uh, Surehold makes Buff Magic compound, so it's another good one. So first, we're going to put um, the rubbing compound on it, and I'll show you how. Cut. So the first thing you're going to do, make sure you shake up the compound. And all you're going to do is make like an X, like this. All right, a couple of X's. Now you want to spread it around before you turn it on. If you do it right away, everything's going to go everywhere. You're going to get all over your face and everything. So before you turn on the, the wheel, the buffer, Just spread it around like so. And I'm only going to do, I don't know, maybe a three by four area. You know, but for like all the let's just do it small. So one, one quick tip, as you're coming down on it, think of this as the center line, and here's the edge. When I come back up, I'm going to put the center line on the edge. Coming up, I'm going to move the center line on the edge, and that way you're always 
overlapping like that. All right, cool. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this off. I'm going to use a nice, clean uh, microfiber cloth. So it's important that it's real clean. This is just my Realme. This isn't as aggressive. It's just a little cordless uh, polisher, but it's working as well. Just remove it as much as you can. All right, that probably took off maybe 80% of it. And now I'm going to take the rest of it. Turn it back on. It's on, dude. Oh. Now I'm going to take the rest of it off with a cloth. This is another microfiber cloth. So this is like the harder side of this cloth. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I take all of that off as much as possible. All right, making sure that there's no more crap. So now this year, what I would normally do is take Sorry. like a, a wax or I would take, um, there's like polishing waxes and I would go over it with a wax now. But this year I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try a ceramic coating. Uh, people have been raving about it, putting it on their cars and boats. Um, there's a ton of them out there. There's probably 15, 20 of them out there. And there's all kinds of videos on the internet where you can see people testing different types. I'm gonna try this one and I'll provide some updates. I figure, why not? Let's see what it does. Um, the directions says say that you should uh, make sure that you shake it well. And um, spray and wipe with a clean cloth, using a microfiber fiber cloth. to get 12 months which may be hard to believe we'll see apply a second coat for the 12 month protection so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray it on this area that we just did all right and now i'm going to change up my pads i'm not going to use the same pad that I used earlier. It's still got the grit from the polishing compound. I'm going to use a much softer, much softer pad. All right. And it's all, I've only used it once before, so it needs to be clean. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rub this in as well. Just spread it out a little bit so it don't fly everywhere. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it down to like a three setting. Um, so that might be just like maybe 3000 RPMs, maybe no more, maybe 2500 RPMs. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this. It's take a lot of pressure. Overlap itself. Go side to side. I'm just gonna fuck. I'm just gonna work all that ceramic coating into that top layer. And we'll see how it works out. Do you think it'll be better than wax or not? I don't know. Same overlapping motion. Uh, gives it like a, a deep 
a deep, darker look. That's done. So now I'm going to take the other side of the microfiber. All right. Again, it's very clean. And now I'm going to rub out all that ceramic coating. You can see I got a couple little swirls. So if I press hard enough, kind of go in a circular motion. It looks like. Uh, Sticking the swirls out. Looks like it's definitely a nice mirror glaze. It's very uh, slippery. Looks nice. That's that's a little repair area. Post an update. Like mid summer, and then we'll see what it looks like at the end of summer and in the fall after the sun's really baking on it pretty strong. But that's it. Um, I appreciate it. And up next is drink of the day. Very important segment. I hope you stay on. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you can get your update and uh, hit the like button if you like what you saw. Thank you. Welcome to drink of the day. It's Mr. Jeff eating a little pasta uh, Open up a Bordeaux wine This is now given I studied Spanish in high school, so I don't know French, but it's a Bordeaux Chateau de la Pierre la Vie I don't know close enough uh, It's 2018 got this through the wine club it says the bouquet is expressive with lovely notes of strawberry, plum, and toast. Toast? The hell, toast? It's like peanut butter and toast with jelly? I don't think so. Let's have at it. The finish is long lasting with toasted notes. Toasted notes. Like burnt toast? Maybe I could smell some toast. I can, I can, I can, I can understand what they're saying. It's not burnt, but it's like dark. That's a big, bold red wine. Definitely on the dry side. I'd call it a little balanced, not too acidic, not too basic. I like it. What are we on a scale from one to 10 there? Number two, boy. I'll give it a 7.8. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video hit the like button thank you